In this video, we are going to design and mock up a poster using AI. We're going to start with some advanced prompting in mid journey for images, vectorizing our chosen image, clean up and retouch our vector in Illustrator, and finally mock up our poster in Photoshop. So let's launch Discord and start designing. First, we need to prompt for some poster designs. I want to make a travel theme poster with travel or world elements. Now there are a couple of prompt tricks in Midjourney that we can use to help us generate more images and variants of images without having to type so many prompts. To start, I'm going to use the imagine command and type in my prompt. I'm going to open up with vector poster and then comma. I found this to be typically easier to vectorize later and adjust an illustrator. Then I'm going to open up a set of curly braces. Now curly braces and mid journey prompts allow us to run permutations or multiple prompts using each element in the set of curly braces. For example, I will type in sleek and modern. So Midjourney will run two different prompts, first using sleek, the second using modern, but it won't run both at the same time. After this set of curly braces, I will close it up and open up a new one. This time we're going to include our theme. So I want Midjourney to cycle through world, travel, and vacation. I'll close this up here, comma. So now Midjourney will give us six prompts or six generations. It'll first start with sleek and give us prompts for sleek and world, sleek and travel, sleek and vacation. And then it will do the same with modern and these three themes. Now, lastly, I will add in the aspect ratio that I want by putting in two dashes AR and then two to three because that's the ratio I want my poster to be. So let's hit enter and see what it has for us. We'll hit yes. As we can see, came back with a bunch of cool images here that we can use for our poster. Some of these are better than others for our travel theme purposes, but they're all very cool. And so I went ahead and upscaled this third one over here because I think we can work with this relatively easily in Illustrator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to download this image and then we're going to hop on to a website to vectorize it and make it ready to use in Illustrator. So now I went on to vectorizer.ai, which is a very nifty tool that will help us convert our image into vector format so we can use it in Illustrator or whichever vector design app you like to use. So now I'm on the website, I can simply just click and drag my downloaded poster design image and drop it in here. It's going to take some time to process everything. And then it's a simple download away. So here we can see the result pretty accurate. If you ask me, I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And now before we hit download here, I will make sure that this stack shapes on top of each other is selected instead of place shapes and cutouts. This will make it easier to manipulate stuff and move them around once they're downloaded. Once that's selected, you go ahead and hit download and you're going to have your file. Now, before we head on to Illustrator, I want to generate some text to put on the poster. And so I'm going to head on to chat GPT to help us with some 
poster text ideas to include on our poster. So now I'm in ChatGPT and I wanted to generate some text for me to use on our design for our poster. So I have this basic prompt here. I'm asking it for 20 texts of no more than five words each for a travel and pool themed poster. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we have a couple that we can use. One particularly caught my eye and just a subsection of one, poolside perfection. And I think that's what we're gonna use for our text. We wanna do one last thing in ChatGPT before we head on to Illustrator. And that is figure out potential fonts to use for our poster. So I'm going to ask it to recommend fonts to use for this poster design. All right, I'm gonna check out a couple of these separately and then we're gonna head on to Illustrator and see what works. So now we are in Illustrator and I went ahead and I dragged the SVG file that we downloaded from vectorizer.ai into Illustrator. And this is what we have. Now, the first thing I wanna do in here is clean up these little objects that we don't want in the final design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick over here. Now we can add our text and we decided on full side perfection. And one of the fonts Chad GPT recommended was this Bebes Noya, which I am very fond of and which works pretty well for this design here. So I'm just going to reposition and recolor this so that it fits with the rest of the design over here. Okay, now we can finally take this over to Photoshop where we can mock it up and get it ready to sell. So now I opened up Photoshop and I am on the mock-up file that I will link to in the description. It is free to download. First thing we're gonna do is double click into this smart object thumbnail. We're gonna go back quickly into our Illustrator file, select everything group it, copy it, and then paste it over here as a smart object. We're going to delete this graphic that they have uh, as default. And then we're going to reshape this design just so it fits on our canvas here. Once that's done, we can save and close this tab to go back into our mock-up file where our design is mocked up and ready to go. Thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. 
and hopefully you were able to learn something new. Remember to like and subscribe for similar AI and design tutorials, and let me know in the comments which AI tools you'd like me to play with next. It's been Jam Design, and I'll see you in the next one.